Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on Practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the algorithm challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're going to tackle the eighth challenge in the intermediate section, missing letters. So uh, let's read in, uh, the instructions and uh, look at a couple of the examples so we know what uh, we have to do exactly. Find the missing letter in the past letter range and return it. If all letters are present in the range, return undefined. Okay, so uh, they've given us a couple of string methods, charcode at and from charcode. Um, these should be uh, somewhat familiar, familiar to you because we use them for the uh, Caesar cipher challenge, which was the last challenge in the beginning section. Um, okay, and let's take a look at some of the examples. So uh, we have here a string A, B, C, E. And um, if you know the uh, alphabet, if you know this uh, English alphabet, you know that the missing letter from this range is D. So we have to return the letter D because D comes after C um, and before E. So it's missing in this range. Um, we have uh, another example right here. It gives us a long list of uh, a long range of uh, letters, and I is missing, so we got to return I. Uh, but look, we have this uh, third example, B C D, and although it doesn't begin with um, with A, um, actually it's not missing any letters. It's B, C, D. There's nothing missing in that range. So for that case, we're going to return undefined. Same thing goes for the uh, fourth example here, Y, Z. It's the last two letters of the English alphabet, but uh, nothing is missing in that range. So we're, we will also return undefined. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Oops. Um, Here's our text editor. I already created a new JavaScript file called 8missingletters.js, and I went ahead and embedded that on line 11 of our example.js file. Um, so let's get started. Um, okay, so first thing I want to do, um, is, so the, the letters, um, well, first thing I notice is all of the examples, they're just lowercase, so that's good to know. And the letters, they can be represented by a numerical value. So let's create an array of all of the numerical values for, for each letter in this range, okay? So I'm gonna say var numbers, and uh, we need to, uh, create an array, so str split, okay. and then I'm going to call the map function, okay, so I'm taking an array and I want to create a new array, so anytime we do something like that, we take an array and we want something new, then um, we use the map function, so map, it takes a one required argument, the anonymous function, let's call it letter this time. Okay, put a semicolon right there. And then I'm just going to return letter, okay, char code at, and that's it. And it'll give me a numerical value that represents uh, that letter. Okay, so we have that. And, uh, and actually, if I, if I return numbers, okay, and if we go to the example.html file and refresh it, okay, we'll get uh, we'll get an array. Oops, dad, gun it. I forgot to embed the right file. So let's do eight missing letters. Okay, I normally do this before the video. Okay. All right, there we go. So I get 97, 98, 99, 101. So each of these letters, they represent the numerical value uh, of, um, uh, of uh, each character. Uh, so if we go here, A, lowercase a is 99, and B is, or 97, and B is 98. Lowercase c is 99, and E is 101. Okay, so you can kind of assume uh, what we're going to do next. 
So now we're going to iterate through this array of numerical values, and we're going to find the, uh, the gap. Okay, um, so let's create a, a loop of some sort and, uh, and identify where the missing uh, letter is. So I'm going to create a new for loop for i oops, equals zero. All right, i is less than numbers dot length. All right, i plus plus. Okay, and we could probably, um, I mean, we could probably do this uh, with the for each loop, uh, for each method. Um, the reason why I'm choosing a for loop is. Um, you know, once I identify the missing letter, I just want to break out of the loop. And um, I don't know, I don't think it's possible to break out of a for each um, array method, but I know that it's, it's easy to break out of a for loop. I can use the break keyword or just a return statement. Um, so I'm going to just use a for loop. All right, so if Numbers, okay, that's our array that we just created recently. If numbers i plus 1 minus numbers i, okay, if that is greater than 1, then we're going to return string from char code numbers i plus 1. Okay. And I believe this should work. Um, okay, and if we don't have any missing letters, then we should just re return undefined. So let me save that. Let me go here, and I should see a letter D in my JavaScript console, which I do. Okay, awesome. So let's talk about uh, what's happening here. Let me check the time. Okay, plenty of time. Um, well, first, before I walk you through, again, let me just copy this. Let's go to the Free Code Camp website. Let's run this code, and awesome! Challenge destroyed. Perfect. Okay, now I'll walk you through. So, um, well, let me bring it here. It's a bit bigger. So, we've got our, uh, our array called numbers, and I'm using the map method to create an array of integers, and those integers are the numerical values for these uh, letters, okay? And then after I create that array, I'm gonna iterate through the array. So uh, I'm iterating through uh, numbers, okay? And if, and, and uh, this variable i right here, I mean, th this pattern should look you know familiar to you already. Uh, anytime we're gonna iterate through an array, or um, yeah, an array um, using a for loop. We normally set up like this counter like this. Um, and you can call it var i or x or whatever you want to. And uh, that's just gonna represent uh, the index number um, for, um, for, for, the, uh, for the array so we can uh, access the different values. So basically, if uh, if numbers, okay, if i plus 1, so the first iteration is 0, so 0 plus 1, so if numbers index 1, okay, um, if we subtract that from, um, from numbers index 0, and if that's greater than 1, then we're going to execute this code. So, um, Remember here, all right, we had our array, and if we convert A, B, C, E to integers, that would be an array 97, 98, 99, and 101. So in the first iteration, numbers, all right, I is 0, so 0 plus 1, 1. So this is index 1 right here, 98. All right, if 98 minus all right, this number here, 97. So 98 minus 97 is one, okay? So if that operation, if it is greater than one, we're gonna execute this code. So 98 minus 91 is one. It's not greater than one, so the next iteration. So if 99 
minus 98 is greater than 1. It's not. It's, it's still 1. So next iteration. So now we have 101 minus 99. Okay, and that is greater than 1. 101 minus 99 is 2. So now we are going to return um, a string. We're going to return a character. So we're going to use this string method, string, that from char, uh, char code. And then inside, we're going to say numbers i, okay, um, plus 1. So we are in our third iteration. And so i, okay, is, uh, is now 2, okay, so numbers 2, okay, would be this number right here, 99. So from char code 99 plus 1, 100. So if we put a 100 in here, uh, it's going to generate the character that's represented by the number 100, and that's what happens. Um, and if we were able to iterate through this entire array of numbers and we could not find a gap, then it would return undefined right here by line 12. Okay, so that's it for right now. Uh, as usual, um, this is just one possible solution. And when you get into the intermediate and advanced challenges, there are uh, virtually an infinite amount of uh, solutions that you can make for these problems. So don't take my word as gospel. There's probably a hundred different ways you could do this. Your way is equally, you know, is valid and complex as mine. Uh, there's probably, you know, other solutions out there that are more elegant and faster than my solution. This is just one of my solutions, and I'm sharing it with you. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement for this video series, please let me know by writing your thoughts in the comments below right here. If you like this video, uh, it helps me out. If you share this video, it's going to help you out uh, too, and uh, it'll help out all of your friends. If you subscribe, um, it, it's going to help everyone out. So just share the love, like this video, share it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, and I would really, really appreciate that. Okay, and that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.